This is a simple text editing program. It will open up a file, you can make modifications to it, and then save that file. Let's see how this operates. I click on Open File, and I get a dialog box. I click on my AAA.py file, and I click on Open. And there it is. X equals bye bye, Y equals friends. Let's change some of this and put in some more modern street jargon. Yo, yo, what's up, dogs? We've made some drastic changes to this. Let's save our file. I just did. Now, let's open this file up and see if those changes took again. I'm going to click on open file. Watch what happens. Dialog pops up, but let's move this to the side. This all got cleared out, the text box over here. And notice the title bar is also cleared out. I'm going to click on AAA.py again and open. AAA.py is in the title bar, and our file has been brought back in. And note, the changes have been made permanent. Yo, yo, what's up, dog? All right, this works. Let's see how this simple text editor functions. Go up to the top of our file from tkinter import star. Mr. TK, make a window, assign it to the variable root. Make a variable that's global called TT. Now, immediately the system encounters a function. It blows right past this at the start of the program because it's just the definition of a function blows past this guy too keeps going till it comes to commands and here we've got a series of commands in fact these are the only commands in our program right here so let's go through them Mr. the button put yourself into the root the text on yourself must say open file the width must be 10 units and the command I want you to execute when someone clicks on you is the ODF command which we define up above ODF stands for open the file. Sign all of that to B1, the button B1. Mr. B1, put yourself into the grid, row 0, column 0, and he does it. Button 2. Mr. Button, put yourself into the root. The text on yourself must be save file. The width is 10 units. The command I want you to execute when anyone clicks on you is SDF. Assign all that to B2. Mr. B2. Put yourself into the grid at row 0 and column 1. He says, OK, I'll do that. Two functions get executed, ODF and SDF. Open the file and save the file. The last one. Mr. Textbox, put yourself into the root window. Your state is normal. Your height is 15. Your width is 60. Assign all of that information to TT, the text box. Mr. TT, put yourself into the grid starting at row one in column zero. You'll have a row span of six and a column span of six. Let's go up to the ODF function that gets executed when someone clicks on the open file and see what it does. Here he is, the ODF file. Open the file. First thing I do is I make a global variable called XF. That means X files. That will be the variable that contains the name of the file you open up. Then I say Mr. TT. Now that's the text box that we defined just a moment ago. Mr. TT, yes, I want you to go to the beginning of your text box, yeah, and all the way to the end of your text box, yeah, and I want you to delete everything in between. Okay, he wipes out everything in the text box. Mr. Root. Yes. Would you put something into your title bar, please? Sure. What do you want me to put there? A blank. All right. Two quotes. That's a blank. Now, Mr. File Dialog Box. Yes. I want you to execute the Ask Open File Name function that will put up a list of files for me to choose from. I'll click on one of those files. And would you please assign that file name and its location? to the variable xf. He says, sure, no problemo, I'll do it. Mr. Root, would you put something into your title bar? Sure, what? The location and name of whatever is in the xf variable. 
That way the user knows the name and location of the file he's dealing with. All right, that sounds good. I'll do that. Mr. TT, that is the text box. Mr. Text Box, I want you to open up the file, the file name that's in the XF variable. He says, yeah. Read the whole thing into memory. Yeah. And then I want you to go to the end of the text box, wherever that is. Yeah. And I want you to insert all that data into it, starting right there. He says, OK, I'll do that. And that's what the ODF function does. Now. When someone clicks on the Save File button, he executes the SDF function. Let's go up and see what that does. The SDF function, Save the File, does the following. Mr. TT, that is the text box, get all of your data starting at the beginning and all the way to the end. Get it all. He says, I've got it now. And I want you to assign that to the variable SV. So, he takes everything in the text box, puts it into SV. That contains all the changes that you made, though. Now, system, I want you to open up whatever file is stored in the XF variable for writing, and it's going to be text that I write to that file. He says, OK, I'll do that. I want you to assign all of that to the letter F. He says, done. Mr. F, yes, write all of the data in SV right on to your silly self. Overwrite yourself with that. And he does it. All that data is saved on top of the old data. Mr. F closed the file. And he closes himself. And that's it. Let's go see this in action again. All right, this time we'll pick a different file. Click on Open File. And here's our dialog box. I'll click on the ARG2 dot py file click on open and here are some comments here run this program from the dos environment and right here hit the enter key and i'm going to key in this is a test and that's it i'm going to click on save file this is the arg 2py file again save the file and it does it let's open up the file again when I do that, it clears out the text box and what is in the title bar. I'm going to choose ARG2 again. Click on Open and see if the changes took. They did. This is a test. You can see it right there. I hope you see this to be the useful and practical lesson that I designed this to be. Please like and share this. I would deeply appreciate that. This is George Bolt, and I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.